this video, I'm going to walk you through the TC Ice Cream app and kind of give you a quick overview of how the app is set up and show you some basic elements of ClickSense. I'm going to go ahead and, as I'm here, I'm going to hear my ClickSense web account. You can see I'm on my hub page here and I'm going to scroll down here to my content. These are my apps, that is. I'm going to double click and open my TC Ice Cream app that I uploaded. So when you open up your application, you get basically an overview of the app. So I'll start from the top. This here says TC Ice Cream. This is when the data was last loaded. It was on September 15th. But again, as I stated earlier, we're not going to load data in this particular exercise. I can go ahead and click this pencil here if I want to change the name, but we'll leave the name the same for now. I can also change the image, if you would, the thumbnail that represents the app. We'll keep it the same for now. And this widget here, click on this widget, has all my settings, if you would. Um, appearance, we're using the apply theme sense breeze, but I can select a different theme if I wanted to. Um, the background color, any images I'm gonna use for, the, <coughs> for my sheet, um, image alignment, font color, and whatnot. So you can make these changes here in your app anytime you wish, just to kind of test it out too as well. I'm going to click the X to close this. Um, up here you can kind of see some of the, um, you see three drop down, two drop down members, menus in the storytelling here. Click here, this talks about loading the data, like data model, loading data and what that. So again, we're not going to worry about that. Loading data in this particular application because it's there for you. This gives me the sheets I have right now. Um, to go to the sheets, I can also do insights. Insights basically kind of gives you some ideas for charts and whatnot. So ClickSense does some insights based upon your data in your data model. It'll give you some example charts. Okay. Down here we have two areas. We have your sheets and then published. That is to say, if the application is published, that means that you're sharing the application with some other people on your team. These are the sheets that you build. They'll be able to see them, okay? Anything under here, in this section here, is my sheet area here. Only you can see it. You're the developer, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm click on the template sheet. So any sheet you create, you just click on and it'll open up. And so basically, here's my sheet. We have the, the name of the sheet template. The, Title we put here of the company. That's a text text uh, chart. I'll show you that in a minute. Two KPIs: quantity sold and sales transactions. And then obviously some filtering, some drop downs, if you would. And this is all based upon our data. Okay. Okay. So let's say if I wanted to edit a sheet. Well, I'm going to click over here on the right. So this over here tells us the sheet we're on, which is the template sheet. You click here to open the sheet to edit, okay? Now, you see it kind of sets up a nice grid for you here of, of objects, if you would, you can, you can drop on the grid. We'll come back to that in a minute. This gives me the title of the sheet, which is template. This is a thumbnail of the sheet, so I can actually even, not only can I make an image for the application, I can make an image for each of my sheets representing ClickSense, okay? Grid spacing is Y. The sheet's responsive, so that means it will, it will, um, it will respond to your screen size, basically if you're using a large monitor, a laptop, um, even a phone or an iPad. It will, it will, uh, it will, it will more to the sheet. Okay? And obviously extend the sheet, that means so basically, this is what I'm working with now. If I want to extend the sheet, make the sheet so I can scroll up and down the sheet, typical for a web page, I can click, turn this on or off. Okay, so we're, we're just going to keep that the same for now. So, this basically here tells us about our sheet. Okay, I give a description of the sheet, um, change the title, and whatnot. We'll do that later on when we recreate our different sheets for this application. Okay, so let's talk about over here on the left. All right, so we have different assets if you were different things we can add to the sheets okay this basically here 
gives us a list of all the fields in our tables. I can even click the drop down here to look at a specific table in a specific fields in the table. Master items, we're going to cover that in, in the next video. For this particular project, we're going to work on master dimensions. Okay, we're going to create some master dimensions. But the other items here tells us master visual say master measures. We're going to create a master calculation and also master visualizations. That's what that basically what that does is I can create a chart that can be used throughout all the sheets. Okay. The nice thing about these master items is, is that if I change the master item, it changes it throughout my entire application, okay? So if let's say I'm using a specific, let's say I make a measure, a calculation, all right? And I use that calculation on maybe, let's say I have seven sheets and I use it on five. The business requirements change. I have to change the master measure, if you would, I don't have to go back to all five sheets. I could just go to the master measure and make the change there, okay? Charts, these are the charts, if you will, that we can add to our specific sheet, okay? And we're, not, we're gonna be walking through some of these charts throughout this application project. And custom objects, basically, these are different kind of objects, if you will, different, you know, these are kind of the standard, standard kind of standard click sets. These are more advanced, Objects you can add to the sense here, and different different uh, things you can add to your application and whatnot. There's various companies that actually specialize in making custom objects, extensions, if you would, that you can add to ClickSense. There's some really um, innovative um, things you can add to your ClickSense application. Okay. So in this down here, we're not going to cover it in this project. It's called variables. This is where you can create a variable, if you would, to set into your project, that, you know, your application that can be used for calculations, okay? So over here on the top left screen, I can click the menu bar. This talks about making my sheet public. I can download it as a PDF. I can duplicate the sheet. I can embed the sheet maybe into a website um, and whatnot. In an open hub here, that returns me to Wow. So that's basically a quick overview of the different elements of the ClickSense application.